Well, life, my friend, is full of various twists and turns and the occasional surprise. Four years ago, uh, Andy Gray and myself were in Santa Monica at this stage, <laughs> waiting to cover the World Cup. Fox Sports, it was then, as the world's greatest football showpiece was um, being staged elsewhere, South Africa. This time around, we find ourselves in Doha, eight years ahead of 2022. So again, we're blazing a trail <laughs> as the World Cup prepares to kick off in Brazil. What we didn't expect, I don't think, Andy, was to find ourselves up at five o'clock in the morning, <laughs> heading to be in sports, to guest on Nicola Crosby and Andy Kerr's morning show, uh, explaining exactly what's happening during the World Cup. But anyway, here we go. So, as we do, thoughts? Well, my thoughts are one thing that hasn't changed in the four years since we were in Santa Monica. I did all the driving in America as well. <laughs> and here I am in Doha being chauffeur again to Mr. Keys. Well, if I may just interject at that point, which I make a habit of. No, you didn't. Didn't I? So this time around it is your turn. Oh, okay. I could have sworn I did all the driving like four years ago, but never mind. I'm quite happy to show for you. Thoughts about this World Cup? Excited. Uh, really excited. There's something special about a World Cup, um, but there's something even more special about a World Cup that's played in Brazil. Um, it's been well over 60 years since, amazingly, this country last hosted the World Cup, 1950, and it's been far too long since it went back to its spiritual home. And uh, I, for one, think it does make that extra special. Just a quick look, if we may, see, um, modern technology allows us to do all these kinds of things, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Maybe it doesn't. I was going to have a look outside, but can't at the moment, so. Um, England's chances, what are they? Of winning it, slim. Of exiting the group, fairly good. I, I don't believe Italy and Uruguay are as good as many people believe. They're decent sides. And obviously in the likes of Suarez, because we know him, because we've watched him all season, there's a fear factor in there, I think, surrounding Uruguay because of, of uh, Luis Suarez, but it shouldn't be. Uh, the rest of the team are decent, but not world beaters. And in Italy, I think, although they got to the final two years ago of the European Championships, I still believe that, that this team are not nearly anywhere near as good as, as previous Italian sides. So I think England should go in with confidence, with belief that they can get out of the group. I just don't believe that they have uh, the depth, uh, the quality to get much further than the quarter-final. I think if England arrived in a quarter-final and, and lost then, I think that would be regarded as fairly successful and, and hopefully have their younger players would have learned from it and will be better two years' time for the European Championships. We'll keep filing. I'll keep filing. You might be doing the driving. I'll yeah, keep doing the well. filing during the course of this uh, 30 days or so. Um, different times and different places. So stay with us because you never know what you're going to get. There's a raft of people joining us. Uh, the likes of Gianfranco Zola out here today for our first programme, which I'll let you in on later. Uh, Graham Sunes, uh, Kevin Keegan's here, uh, Mitchell Silgado. Um, I mean, too many. Patrick Vieira for us out in Brazil, Robert Perez amongst others here, because our French colleagues have uh, joined us here in Doha. So at different times, on different days, I'll be filing all sorts of different things for you. But uh, for now, Andy, as we complete our journey, um, give us a winner. You asked me that last night, I'm not going to change my mind. I think Argentina have, like Brazil, a huge incentive. Can you imagine Argentina winning the World Cup in Brazil? What an incentive for them. Argentina. Uh, stay with us. Oh, and one last thing. I must oh, just... by the way, what, what, who's your winner? Uh, I'm, I'm going asked. with the European winner. I'm going with Germany. Oh. One last thing did make me smile last night. Um, Gary Neville's suggestion that there's been a witch hunt after Wayne Rooney. Well, those who follow my blog will know I agree entirely with that. There has, and I don't understand why. But where did it all start? Where did it all start? Oh yes, I'll answer that, I know. Um, at Old Trafford, Paul Scholes started all this. <laughs> Not particularly helpful. Um, we'll see you later.